Hello, this is Sal. In today's video, I'll explain uh, or I'll show you how to configure EIGRP. We have in this video here on the screen a three topologies. They are the same. On router one, I configured just the interface on gig zero 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 and the loopback zero for the router. Now there is no uh, routing protocol is configured on uh, on these routers so this is what I'm gonna be doing now the first thing I'll be configuring EIGRP using the same or using the exact IP address match of the interfaces here on router 1 enable configure terminal router EIGRP autonomous system 100 network I will enter uh, the IP address of the interface 172.16.1.1 and uh, with the inverse subnet mask of 0000, and also for the loopback 0 network of 1.1.1.1 and with this sorry these are for IP uh, subnet mask and verse subnet mask. Now, not to forget when we are configuring uh, Reverdent 2 or, or uh, EIGRP, the command of no auto summary. Now on router 2, I, can, I will configure the same for the interfaces. Enable configure terminal uh, router EIGRP autonomous system 100 network the interface facing uh, router 1 172.16.1.2 and with the inverse subnet mask and now as you can see it is establishing a new adjacency with uh, router 1 now for the loopback of 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 .2 .2 .2 the subject mask and now the interface facing router 3 172.16.2.1 and not to forget again no auto summary now let's go back to router 3 enable configure terminal router EIGRP autonomous system 100 the network of the loopback 3.3.3.3 inverse subnet mask enter now the interface facing router 2 172.16.2.2 and now the interface facing uh, router 4 172 16.3.1 and once again no auto summary now let's work on router 4 enable configure terminal router EIGRP autonomous system 100 let me start with the loopback and the network of the interface facing router 3 of 172.16.3.2 and once again no auto summary and let's see here if router 4 can ping the loopback of router 1 yes it can can it ping the interface of router 1 of 172.16.1.1 yes it can so IP protocol as you can see here sorry about that I was doing it on router 4 it's showing us we are using EIGRP autonomous system 100 and here automatic network summarization is not in effect so we because we turn it off 
and the routing ERGRP is used to route these two networks on router 4 the loopback and the interface facing router 3 and as you can see here the gateway for router 4 is this this is the next stop of 172.16.3.1 show IP EIGRP neighbor and showing us the neighbor of router 4 is this interface of 172.16.3.1 on the gig 000 and show IP EIGRP uh, interfaces and showing us here for router 4 two interfaces for the loopback 0 and for this on a uh, gig 000 so we are we were done configuring this uh, first topology let me ping from here uh, the loopback of router 4 for that for that for that for and yes we can now uh, on the topology 2, I will be configuring EIGRP command based on the subnet of the interfaces, like the traditional way how we usually will do it. Enable, configure terminal, uh, router, EIGRP, also with the Thanab system 100, network of one. Uh, let me start with the loopback of 1.1.1.1 the inverse subnet mask for the slash 32 is 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 now network of 172.16.1.0.0.0.0.255 and not to forget also no auto summary and now router 2 enable configure terminal router EI GRP autonomous system 100 uh, let me start with the network of the loopback of 2.2.2.2 the inverse subnet mask now the interface facing router 1 172.1.0 0.0.0.255 now the interface facing router 3 of 172.16.2.0 with the inverse of this mask and again no auto summary now router 3 enable Configure terminal, router EIGRP, autonomous system 100. Let me start with the loopback of 3.3.3.3, autonomous uh, inverse subnet mask, slash 32 is 0000. Now, the network facing router 2, 172.16.2.0. Now the network facing router 4, 172.16.3.0.255. No auto summary. Now on router 4, enable configure terminal router EIGRP autonomous system, the same 100. Let me start with the loopback of 4.4.4.4 and with the inverse subnet mask of slash 32 and now the network facing router 3 of 3.0.255 and again no auto summary. And here, let me see if we can ping the loopback of router 1. Yes, we can. Can we ping the interface of router 1? Yes, we can. 
QIP, EIGRP, uh, interfaces. This is for router one, the loopback zero, and the other interface facing router three. Let me go to router one here and to IP route. It is showing us here that uh, D is for the ERGRP for the loopback of uh, router two is connected and the loopback of router three and the loopback of router four and here for the network of 172.16.2 uh, the, the network here is connected via uh, this interface and for the network of 172.16.3.0 is connected via the same interface via here that I'm pointing either network it will work from here to reach to this network if this is its gateway its next hub and this network to reach here also this is its next hub and I'll run this command show IP protocol and showing us the same this is on router one that we are using the routing protocol ERGRP autonomous system 100 and here uh, the metric weight you know the first uh, k1 and k3 are on and this is uh, uh, something to pay attention to to troubleshoot you know whenever you have issues configuring ergrp and here is telling us also we turn the network summarization is not in effect and the ergrp is routing for us the networks of one the loopback this is on the router one the loopback of router one and also the network of 172.16.1.0 and the gateway for router one is this guy here of 172.16.1.2 now let us configure the router with a single network command this command will configure ergrp with the autonomous system 100 on all interfaces on the routers and connect with other routers with the same EA, autonomous system. So on router one here, let me scroll this down like this. The third uh, topology, enable, configure terminal. Look, this is really easy, you know, way and quick way to configure uh, ERGRP. Uh, with a single network command. Now, router, EIGRP, autonomous system, again 100. Now, the command is when you put network and you just do this, 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0, which means all interfaces on the routers, kind of like a, a broadcast, all interfaces on the routers, we want them to configure them uh, routing using the routing protocol ERGRP with the autonomous system 100. And also not to forget this important command, which is no auto summary. This is on uh, router one and on router two, the same here, enable, configure terminal, uh, router EIGRP 100 network of 0 .0 .0 .0, 0 0.0.0.0 0 which means all interfaces and now not to configure the command no auto summary now on router 3 we'll do the same enable configure terminal router EIGRP autonomous system 100 the network of 0 to 0 to 0 to 0 and no other command now this guy here router 4 enable router EIGRP no not configure terminal router EIGRP autonomous system 100 network of 0 0 0 0 enter and no auto summary. And let us see if we can't bring the loop back of router one. 
Yes, we can. Now we ping the interface on router one. And yes, we can. On router one, uh, I want to run this end here. Show IP route. And as you can see here, expand this a little bit. It's connected routing to the loopback of router 2, the same with the loopback of router 3 and with router 4. And here for router 1 to get to the network of 172.16.2, also it needs to go through this interface, just like we showed in a previous example. Here to reach this network of 172.2.0 here needs to go through this its gateway of 172.16.1 and uh, I'll show by running this command show IP protocol and this is the gateway for router 1 here this guy is this interface of 172.16.1.2 and the routing network for the one which we configured that means any interface on the router any interface might be connected or on the router that this is what we want to configure ERGRP with routing the protocol 100 uh, I hope you learned a tip or two from this uh, uh, video uh, please if you like it just uh, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumb up and please share it if you uh, and I'll see you soon in next video and please if you have any comments or if you have in mind you know something or a subject you want me to cover and explain it in a video please don't hesitate and send me an email thank you so much for watching and have a nice day